Hey guys, what's up? My name is Ronan Vico and this video we're going to learn about the new functionality that is being released on the Power Platform. Now it is possible to create your own function with PowerFX. You can create your own function and use it on your Power Apps and your Automate. And the first thing that I thought about that, it's some functions that we have on Power Apps Canvas, it's going to be great on Power Automate Cloud. So now I'm going to teach you how to use this function and how to create a new function on Power Platform and reuse it on other applications. So I have this Power Automate Cloud flow right here. And one, one function that most of the people try to use on Power Automate and we don't have it, it's for example, the left and right. We do have other functions to do it, uh, like slice and, and other functions here. But just to understand how this Power Platform functions works, we're going to create the left function, right? So we can use the left function here on Power Automate Cloud. So how to do it? Now, we're going to go here on new automation function and what we're going to do here, let me move my, <laughs> my body from, for the left. The name of my new function going to be left. So I, I, I could give the name of left function, maybe left function. Get the characters, characters on the left. And I'm going to create the parameters. So the first going to be the text, data types going to be string, it could be boolean, decimal, float, integer. In my case, a left function receive two parameters, the text and the number of characters that we want, I, we want to get, right? So text and number of chars, okay? Not string. This parameter is the type of integer. And we're going to have a new output result. It's going to be the new text. Oh, we can't we can't use the underline. I'm going to I'm going to rename it to the result. The result. The data type result going to be string. We can use table references here. That's pretty cool. We can collect. We can do some calculations. But let's start with the basic. Let's just create the left function. The formula that I want to do. Here it's the Power Apps left function. So left num the text and the number of chars. The result of that going to be the result data type string. Okay. Now I'm going to save that, and I have here this advanced option, but it's disabled. I don't know why. Everything that I'm, I'm teaching you and showing you here about the new FX expression, it's on preview mode. So it's not on production yet. They are testing this new functionality, okay? We created our FX expression named left function. And now I'm going to use that on Power Automate. So here on my Power Automate Cloudflow, I'm going to click to add a new step, I'm going to search for perform an unbound from Dataverse, perform an unbound action. Now we're going to select the left function. So left, and here we have RV left function. There is our function. When I select it, it's going to show two new parameters, the text and number of chars. So let, let's go test it. I'm going to insert hello world and try to get five chars. I'm going to go here on the compose and just print RV left function response, the result. I'm going to just print all the output so we can see every pro property that we have available. And when I publish 
there is a warning you need a premium license okay so of course we are using the dataverse connector so it's obviously that we need a premium license okay i'm going to run this flow after we run this flow and check the results we got the bad request enable to cast object of type string value to the record value what does this mean i just created the wrong way this formula right here when we have this output we should do like that open a bracket and the result should be the value of the function now this going to be the value return the result of the function i'm going to save this update and just to be clear we come here on the function and change okay go to the function and change your function i'm going to run it again and see if it's going to work publish i'm running this flow again so we can see that now we have the result pretty easy to to use it right i can have more than one function and results that's pretty cool because i can go here and have not just the result but the on text and i can have more than one calculation and results right i can have the on text pretty easy to use it and it's pretty cool that we can have more than one calculation on the same formula right i made this video because i was excited about this new functionality but being honest it's something pretty new so be careful don't use it yet on your production solutions okay on your solution that are in production because maybe don't work pretty well yet uh, it's a preview functionality so just test it like i am doing right now and maybe in the future it's going to work pretty well thank you so much for watching and if you liked this video please consider to subscribe and share so we can grow up this channel and comment down below your feedback and write our secret word write the fruit banana comment banana on your comment so i will know that you you watch it, the video to the end you watch it all the video it's a way of knowing who watched the video completed thanks so much for watching and we see you in another class in another video and please subscribe